All right, example number two. Expand 5x minus 2 to the power of 4. So we need to expand this. So what we need to find is row 4 on the Pascal's triangle, which would be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That's the only row we need. Again, we need row 4, which is this row right here. And we need to identify the a and our b. Our a, our first term, is 5x. Our second term is negative 2. So that's our a and our b, if you want to call it our first term and our second term. And we expand it by writing out 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That's row 4. And we take our a and our b and we plug it into each one. So what we get is you have 5x to the power, 5x is our term, our a term. We're multiplying each of the terms in, the numbers in row 4 by the first term. And we multiply it by the second term. And I'm using different colors so that you can recognize that we're doing first term, second term, and we need to have the exponents. Don't forget the pluses now. Just, just keep in mind we need those pluses. So plus 4, plus 6, plus 4, plus 1. And what we need now is our exponents. So the highest exponent goes is assigned to the first term, z position 0. So 4 plus 0 is 4, which is what we want. The next number is going to be 3 on the first term, 1 on the second term. Again, remember that these numbers must add up to 4, and they do. So this is 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, if you want, for the first term. And the second term is going up. So we start off with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what we can do now is expand each of these to find our simplified expression for this expansion of this binomial. So you will have 625 x to the power of 4 because 5 to the power of 4 is 625, x to the power of 4 is x to the 4. This one gets nothing. It's gone. So we might as well make this disappear completely. Next, we have... The next number is going to be minus 1,000 x cubed. The next number, why is it negative 1,000, you may ask? Well, let's look at the numbers. So you have 4 times 5 to the 3. 5 to the 3 is 125. Times it multiplied it by negative 2. Remember that it's negative 2 to the power of 1, so we have to include that. So the sign becomes negative. And it's 4 times 125 times 2. And that turns out to be 1,000 x to the power of 3 minus, no, sorry, plus 600. That's the next number. x to the power of 2. The next number after that is going to be negative minus 160 to the power of x. And finally, the last number is plus 16. So again, you follow the same rules. Let's look how the 600 came about. 6 times 5 squared times 4. Remember, it's positive because it's squared, and negative squared is positive. So it's plus 6 times 25 times 4, which is 600. The next one is 4 times 5 times negative 8. And that's where the negative 160. And finally, we'll have positive 16. So this here is the final expansion of that binomial. Let's look at the next one. Example number three. Determine the coefficient of x4, y squared in the binomial expansion of 3x minus 4y to the power of 6. What's important here to note is that sometimes I'm not going to ask you for a full expansion. I may ask you for one specific coefficient in the entire expansion. So what you need to do is 
figure out, think a little bit of what we need. First of all, we need x to the power 4 and y to the power 2. If you look here in the actual question, three x, there's just a single x and a single y in terms of our terms. So as x, remember that x is decreasing while y is increasing. So the sum of the two terms up here is 6, so we know it belongs in this expansion. And x to the power of 4, y to the power of 2, means that we need a certain position. We need it in position 4 to be able to do this. Or as we're going down, it's 6, 5, 4, so that we need the third place. Let's check it out. So we know that this is the expansion of the sixth term. So we know the first one's going to yield us x6, y0. The second one's going to yield us x5, y1. The third one's going to deal with x4, x4, y squared. That's what we're looking at. This is what we're thinking in our heads. So we need the number 15 as our front number. The next thing we need to do is take 3x and apply the exponent 4 to that and negative 4y and apply the exponent 2 to that. The reason why is don't forget that 15 is only the number that it gets multiplied by. We have to also include the coefficients of the original terms. So we have to calculate 15 times 3 to the power of 4 times negative 4 all squared and that will give us something x4y2 and that will be 1,000, sorry, 19,440. So the coefficient is 19,440 for x, 4, y squared. All right, that's the end of the lesson, folks. If you need any more help, by all means ask. Have a great night. Take care.